Oh, Caitlin. Caitlin, dear. Yes? We're going to wash your blanket that's been dirty here lately. We're going to wash it in this magnificent Whirlpool WTW4950XW1 washing machine. What do you think about that? How are you supposed to wash it? Well, you know, we just put it, lift the lid, and we take the lid lock off, which is right here. Then we stick it in the hole, and now we're going to load your clothes. Let's put the, let's set the settings. We're going to put it on this, we're going to put it on bulky items. That's the most water this washing machine will put in the washing machine for bulky items, which I think a blanket could can be centered a bulky item. So, we've got it set on bulky item. Eco Boost is off. Fabric Softer is off. Extra Rinse is off. And as in my other videos, I always wash with cold water. So, Caitlin, you load that wonderful dirty blanket of yours up. Oh, just pick that blanket up. How old are you, Caitlin? I'm nine. Nine years old. Now, don't stuff it in there. Just just set it in there. Okay. So the blanket's in there. Yeah. All right. Now, we're going to turn the machine on. Okay. Let's turn the machine on. Okay. Now we have action. Oh, look at that wonderful machine. It's thinking. It's thinking. Let's, how much water do we want to put in? How much water do we want to put in this machine? Let's piss old Arthur off again. <laughs> Let, let's watch clothes without putting water in now. I'm trying to think what the washing machine's saying to me. Because this washing machine knows I've been calling it junk on YouTube. <laughs> and I know the washing machine knows that. Because it's getting worse and worse. Sometimes it doesn't even come on to wash clothes. But right now, it's in the thinking mode. I think I'll piss that boy off. I ain't gonna put no water in. I'm gonna show all them people in America, all across the globe, the world. Maybe even there's a Martian watching this. <laughs> and we'll keep that Martian from buying this magnificent Whirlpool piece of waterless washing machine junk. All right, she's putting water in. What do you think? All the, all the other clothes we've washed while y'all was over here, has it ever washed any of the other clothes we've washed? Nope. Then why would you expect it would wash this blanket? Do you expect miracles to be happening today for some reason? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> well, I hate to I hate to break your bubble, but <laughs> it probably ain't going to happen. <laughs> when you come over here and sleep with this blanket again, you know what that blanket's going to smell like? What? Huh. What's it <laughs> smell like the last time we pulled it out of the washing machine? Did it smell good? No, it smelled like dog poop. Oh, Caitlin, <laughs> you're getting as bad as me on talking about these Whirlpool washing machines. I mean, how could it smell like dog poop coming out of the washing machine? I paid $558 for this washing machine. I thought I was getting a quality piece of Whirlpool equipment. And you're sitting there calling that washing machine a dog poop? Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't guess when you get big, when you need a washing machine, uh, do you reckon you'll be buying any Whirlpool washing machines? Nope. Uh, what if they gave you that washing machine? Would you take it? No, I throw it in the dumpster. Oh, God, don't say that, Caitlin. You're becoming sarcastic <laughs> like me. That's about all it's worth, ain't it? Yeah. They don't put enough water in it to wash clothes. Why would you... I guess I was stupid because I thought when I was buying this machine I was getting a quality Whirlpool product. I guess that's why they put that lid lock on it so you couldn't open up the lid and see why your clothes stunk as bad coming out of the washing machine as they did when they went in the washing machine. So We're putting water in still, slowly but surely. Yep. Once the water gets put in, we're going to add some soap powder. Ain't gonna make no difference because <laughs> half of this half of this blanket ain't never gonna gonna get washed. But we're gonna let this little baby fill up. Kaylin, that's a pretty washing machine, doesn't it? Ain't it? Yes, sir. Well, imagine that. You reckon I bought the washing machine just because it looked pretty, or 
is there something, uh, another alternate reason for buying a washing machine on top of looking pretty? Wouldn't you expect a high capacity, yes. high energy efficient washing machine? Wouldn't you expect this washing machine to wash a load of clothes? Yes. Now, how would you feel if you took $558 out of your piggy bank, went over the H and H Greg, and paid that kind of money for this washing machine just to discover that your clothes would stink as bad coming out of the washing machine as they did going in? And God help you if your well, clothes actually had mud and dirt and grime on them. It'll cost you less to just go to the laundry mat to do this. It'd be cheaper, wouldn't it? After washing, washing clothes about three different loads when you could have washed one on a washing machine that we used to have. I mean, I wish we would have kept the old one. Went and got it fixed. It we had it for 21 years. Yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't realize the crap I was buying <laughs> when I bought this quality. Whirlpool waterless washing machine that the people in the executive office in Benton Harbor, Michigan claim are doing what it is designed to do. And I keep asking them folks every week when I make my weekly phone call, I say, okay, you tell me it's doing what it was designed to do, but exactly what was it designed to do because it ain't designed to wash my clothes. And it's like talking to a robot. Everybody I talk to says, well, sir, we don't have no other complaints on this washing machine, and our records show that after we sent three service techs to your house to look at this machine, all three techs said the machine was working as it was designed to do. I'm sorry if I sound like a robot. I'm sorry if I sound like I'm giving you a program response. The standard Whirlpool response to dissatisfied customers all across the planet Earth. I'm sorry if this irritates you. Please just take it in the butt. Don't get upset about it. Just do like all your other fellow Earthlings do. Just let me slap you on the cheek, hit you in the crack of your rear end. You go whimper in the corner like a little puppy. And shut up and quit worrying about this waterless washing machine. Who cares about your washing machine? We got H&H &H Greg money. H&H &H Greg got your money. Just because you got a washing machine that ain't worth the money you gave it, quit complaining. Americans aren't supposed to complain. I mean, look at the America right now. We've got gas selling for four fifty a gallon, and we're selling our gas to other people in South America. We got a government, of course we've had government for the last 50 years that couldn't respond to any emergencies that was worth dealing with in this issue. We give billions of dollars away to countries all across the world that hate our guts while we're going belly up. Are you stupid, Mr. Paquin? Why are you complaining? Just eat it and beat it. Leave us alone. Well, that's what they always say. I give them a call about every week, but... Oh boy, I just can't leave it alone. Caitlin, you're going to see again this washing machine in action. I mean, these people would just like for me to dry up and go away now. All right, we've stopped the water. And right now, do, all right, let me ask you the question. Caitlin, do, do not touch that lid lock right there. Let me get on this side of you. Caitlin? Yes. I want you to look down in that washing machine, and I want you to tell me if you see any water. You've got that blank. I tell you what, let's do the washing machine a favor. Let's push it down a little. Do you see any water whatsoever yet? No. Okay. Oh, the machine's thinking. Hmm. Wonder if we need to put some more water in. What would you say? Do you think this washing machine needs more water in it? Yes. Why? Because there's not, there's barely enough water to walk, well, wash your pair. Well, I see a little drip right there, a little dot of water right there. Yeah, You're saying that's not enough water to wash this machine? No. <laughs> well, it seems funny that a nine-year-old girl might be smarter than a Whirlpool engineer who designed this piece of crap. So, we're sitting here waiting for the machine to decide what it's going to do next. So, while it's waiting...
while it's waiting, we're just going to be here waiting, and this is what you're going to be doing when you buy a quality Whirlpool waterless washing machine. Your wash cycle is going to take in a neighborhood of an hour to an hour and a half to wash one load of clothes. Well, this machine can't even make up its mind what it wants to do today. This may be the end of the video, but this is every week. So right now, until this machine starts doing what it thinks it wants to do or not wants to do, I'm going to put the camera on the tripod and put it over the, over the hole. So here we go on the tripod, and we're locking her down, and now we're going in to the studio mode of recording. Alright, there you go. This washing machine has been sitting here now, oh, for the last, I think about the last five minutes doing nothing. go back doing what you was doing this movie may not even take it may decide it don't want to wash no clothes today after all we are asking a lot out of it we've got it on bulky item it's making a humming sound that's all it's doing so I don't know this is a problem you're gonna have when you buy a whirlpool product you're gonna have a bunch of aggravation you're going to be mad. You're not going to be happy when you buy these Whirlpool products, these Energy Star washing machines by Whirlpool. Recording this video, it ain't going to do nothing. We're just going to sit here and wait. It's not going to do nothing. It ain't, it ain't even going to try to wash the clothes. It's just sitting here humming. gonna move my light away. We've got lid locked. The red light is saying the lid is locked and it's sensing. The green light says it's sensing the water level. Question is how many hours is it gonna sit there and sense the water level? Now, I'm asking it to do something I don't ask it to do very often. Wash clothes on bulky cycle. It's not used to doing that. I forgot to say a prayer this morning that I was going to wash a blanket. And uh, maybe the prayer might help this Whirlpool washing machine decide it wants to wash a blanket. But it's not going to wash the blanket today. It's been sitting on sensor now. Let me move it around. Maybe I can, maybe if I play around with it, maybe I can make it do something. You got about a half a drum of water in there. It ain't going to do nothing. Well, I'm going to have to reset it. Now when you do that, I'm going to push the button for three seconds. That's going to stop the cycle. Now I'm going to reset it. And it's going to drain all the water and soap out of the washing machine. And we'll have to start all over again. But I'm going to leave the video running so you folks out there in computer land get to see what you get to go through when you buy one of these machines. Now, I was stupid for buying the machine, but nobody warned me. The manual didn't warn me I was going to have all this trouble. H&H &H Greg didn't warn me I was going to have all this trouble. Whirlpool didn't warn me. But you folks, when you buy this Whirlpool product, this washing machine by Whirlpool, you will be stupid twice over because I'm warning you. You have to take the lid lock off in order to discover what your washing machine is doing or not doing. It's very simple. Two little screws hold the lid lock on. You stick it in the hole where it normally goes so the washing machine thinks the lid is locked and it will continue to cycle. If you don't do that simple little operation, you will not see what I get to see.
Well, now it's draining all that water out. It's going to start all over again. That's wasted water. That's wasted time. It's wasted video. It's wasted everything. But when you buy a Whirlpool quality washing machine, one thing I can assure you folks, sooner or later, and sooner is going to be the key word here, you're going to wish you hadn't bought this machine. So now it's sensing the water level. It's doing this all over again. And we've done been through this. I may go through this two or three more times before this before this blanket actually gets washed. What a sorry piece of a... I think it's made in America. If this is the best America can do on a washing machine, we're done for. If this is a sorry... If this washing machine was made in America by this great Whirlpool Corporation, and this is what has it has come down to on American appliances, we're in trouble. We're doomed. When a country and a company in that country as great as Whirlpool can't make a washing machine anymore that washes clothes, that's how sorry things have become. I don't care who they blame it on. This energy star mandate, if you can't make a machine that uses, that washes clothes with the amount of water that the government says you can use, you simply should quit washing clothes. When everybody in government starts coming to work stinking, their clothes stink, they stink, the whole building stinks because nobody's getting their clothes washed no more, they'll do away with the Energy Star rating on washing machines. I actually like Energy Star refrigerators and freezers. I've had luck with them, but not Whirlpool. My refrigerator was Frigidaire, and my freezer was Frigidaire. I have bought them two items since I bought this Whirlpool. After buying this Whirlpool, no more Whirlpools for this cat. Tell you how sorry this washing machine is, Caitlin. You remember when since this washing machine didn't have no agitator in it to stop us from doing it. You remember when when Walter got muddy back in the winter, yeah. early in the winter, and we put him down in there just to prove that this washing machine didn't put no water in it. Yes, sir. And you remember how little water the cat had up to his paw. What did the cat do when he was looking up at this? What, what, if you had to read a cat's mind, what would you think that cat was saying? I think he would be saying, what in the world? Is this a joke? Yeah, but even the cat didn't even get wet, didn't even come close. Well, the machine's just going to hum some more. It's not going to wash this load of clothes. Oh, well, it's not a load of clothes. It don't want to wash this one blanket. I've already turned the machine off once. It drained all the water out. It censored the load again. It put what little water it was going to put in it. It's going to sit here. I'm just going to let it sit here. I haven't touched nothing. It's the same setting as it was before when we first started. This is the problem you're going to have. And of course, if I call up Whirlpool, they're going to have a convenient answer for me. They're going to say this washing machine was washing exactly as it was designed to wash. According to my cell phone, it's 10.03 Sunday morning, March 3rd, 2013. I'm going to let it sit here and do nothing for about five more minutes, and then I'm going to turn it off again. I'm going to unplug the washing machine from the power source, and we're going to start all over again, which I have to do all the time. When it gets in its little brain fog and doesn't want to do nothing, you just gotta you just gotta cut the cycle out that you've got it on by pushing the start button, holding it for at least three or four or five seconds. When everything clears out, you just unplug the washing machine and then you plug it back in. So once I do this, when it starts back up again, this will be my third attempt to wash this one blanket that's been going on now for about oh, how long we've been trying to wash this blanket now Caitlin 15 10 minutes 15 minutes yeah 
it's this typical problem with this washing machine it it ain't gonna do it so let me shut the machine off I cleared it out all right we've got no lights And I'm going to find out where this super duper machine is plugged in at. Where is the damn thing plugged in at? I think that was the plug. Yep, yeah, that was the plug. Alright. Well, plugging her back in. Alright. Start this over again. We're hitting the start button again. Alright, pumping the old water out from the second attempt. We're on bulky item. It's draining all the water out from the second attempt. So this is another washer load of water we've wasted. Ain't got nothing to do with energy saver. This washing machine's gonna waste ten times more soap than you ever wasted in your other washing machine. It's going to waste ten times more time than you ever had to invest washing a load of clothes. It's going to waste more everything on in this washing machine. So let's see what she wants to do now. She's thinking about it. Oh, she's actually going to spin. All right. She's doing something. This is what you get for $558 worth of washing machine. This is what you get. It's sad. I guess I'm going to have to start putting in my videos what time we actually started washing the clothes and what time they actually started getting washed. What little you can say about this machine as far as washing goes. This is the third attempt to wash this blanket. Anytime Whirlpool Corporation wants to come here and look at this washing machine, I'm not letting no more of their technicians touch this machine. Anybody that Whirlpool hires to touch this machine, they're not touching this machine no more because I'm afraid they'll kill this machine so I can't make no more videos about what this machine's doing. If you haven't got no machine, you haven't got no evidence. Now. Whirlpool wants to come here and look at this machine. I will let them pay for my Whirlpool, I mean my man to come out here and look at this machine, but I will not allow anybody from Whirlpool to actually touch the machine. I'm afraid of sabotage. I'm afraid they're going to get tired of sending these, seeing these videos on YouTube they'll get together and decide how can they get this washing machine away from me. Well, I'm going to tell you one good way they can get this washing machine away from me right now. I paid $558 tax and all for this at H&H &H Gregg in Knoxville, Tennessee. If they want this machine back after all the trouble and aggravation I've had dealing with these people and getting nothing done, they need to write me a check for $2,558. Needs to be a certified bank check, and I'll let them have their washing machine back. But until then, I intend to make plenty of videos about this washing machine before it finally gives up the ghost. I know Whirlpool's not going to do anything for me. The whole purpose of these videos is to keep people that go to work every day, that work hard for their money. I'm trying to keep people from buying a machine from a company that cares less about their warranty 
could care less about their craftsmanship could care less about their reputation I'm just trying to keep you people out there watching these videos from making the same mistake I did that's all it's that's all it's about I know Whirlpool ain't never gonna do nothing about this machine but I'm just not gonna go lay in a corner like a spanked little dog shut my mouth and ignore it ignore the fact that this big corporation this big corporation in this country sold me a crappy machine that doesn't come close to do anything advertised this machine would do this machine I've had trouble from the day I've had it the last tech they sent out to look at this machine it was about a month and a half before the warranty ran out after they sent the last tech they just washed their hands of me they didn't care whether the washing machine would wash clothes or not as long as they were able to tell that they sent three techs out here and the three techs said the washing machine was doing what it was designed to do even though at least one of the techs that they sent wrote on the bottom of his paper wash machine doing as it was designed to do as far as tests go however washing machine does not put enough water in the drum to wash clothes and the test load of that load of clothes was five pair of work pants five pair of work shirts lightweight and that 65 percent polyester 35 percent cotton not like five pair of heavy duty blue jeans and we're right back to where we was before around and around he's trying to figure out if she won't put any water in what a piece of junk this makes the third attempt on this video trying to get this washing machine to wash this I think it's about a queen size blanket folks I'm going to tell you for the 6,000th time the only way you're going to see what's happening in your Whirlpool washing machine if it's a top loader the only way you're going to discover the truth is by taking that lid lock off sticking that lid lock in the hole where it would normally go if it was attached to the lid this makes the machine think the lid is locked as long as the machine thinks the lid is locked it will operate Whirlpool has tried to tell me that this causes the machine not to operate but think about it folks that lid lock ain't going to have a hill of beans to do with the water level or how much water this machine puts in it I worked on jet engines in the Navy rebuilt motorcycle engines car engines I know what I'm talking about and I ain't ever even worked on a washing machine common sense would tell you the lid lock has nothing to do with the volume of water a washing machine would put in it only somebody at Whirlpool could possibly come up with that stupidity which they've they've come up with already so here the machine's been going around six thousand times trying to decide hmm I don't know if I need any water in it or not this is energy efficiency this is what you get for your money and I can see already this blanket's not going to get washed today I'm going to end up having to take it out of the washing machine hang it up on the dryer or a clothesline outside let it dry out and start again some other time nothing's gonna happen today what do you think Caitlin? we ever gonna get your dirty blanket washed? maybe two hours does pretty good going round and round doesn't it? yeah well ain't that special how old are you Caitlin? I'm nine. Nine years old. After watching this video, what's the chances of you ever buying a Whirlpool product, period? If their washing machines are crummy, wouldn't it be safe to say their dishwashers, stoves, refrigerators, and everything else with the Whirlpool name on it? Yes. Wouldn't it be safe to say that all that stuff was probably junk, too? Yes, a thousand percent. Do you think you'll ever buy one a Whirlpool product in your lifetime after watching this baby in action? What's the chances? What I mean, what's the chances of you would you 
Let me ask you it another way since you don't understand the question. You ever gonna buy a Whirlpool product, period, from no. here on out? No. Tell the camera that. No. No what? No, I'm not. Well, yeah, that's answering the question. You're not going to buy another. You wouldn't buy another Whirlpool. You wouldn't buy a Whirlpool product, period. Nope. Well, how long has it been going around in a circle like that? About. <coughs> Stay away from the lid lock. About 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, no, it ain't been that long. It's been at least five, six, seven, eight minutes. It's been going around the circle. Stay away from that lid lock. Put your hand away from that lid lock. Stand on this side. <coughs> Folks, I've tried under, underneath unplugging the machine. I've shut it off three times now, hoping I could get the machine to reset. It just doesn't want to wash this blanket. So I think I'm going to give it about another two minutes or so. I'm tired of wasting my electricity. It ain't going to do nothing. Let me try one more thing. <clears throat> well, just tried to wash one lousy blanket today. This makes the third time and nothing's gonna happen. It's just gonna go around and around and around and around. But I'm gonna tell you what all's not lost. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Why waste a video? I'm gonna use my old trusty water hose right here. What we've, what we're done, I had to hook up a water hose to a faucet in the kitchen, run the water over to the washing machine, the water hose over, and I'm gonna put water in. Hold that hose right there, Caitlin. Just hold that, hold that hose. Let's put some water in it manually since the washing machine. Don't let it get on the camera. I won't. We're just gonna go ahead. And maybe we can trick the machine into thinking there's water in it, and it will actually come on and do something. So I ain't stood here and wasted half hour or so trying to get it to do something. Maybe it will come on after we add the water ourselves, which we may as well done in the beginning. Let's see what happens. Put your hand right there so people watching the video can see that you're actually holding that water hose. There you go. We got it now. Hold your hand back a little so put your hand right here so they can see the water coming out of the water hose. Folks, one thing you're going to need when you buy a Whirlpool washing machine you need to purchase a 50 foot water hose or a 5 gallon bucket you're going to need one or the other if you don't take the lid lock off within 30 days to find out the truth about your washing machine on its own on your own you're going to be stuck with the worthless piece of junk like I've been stuck with and this is how you're going to be washing clothes until this washing machine finally tears up and you can replace it I don't think this is going to help it do nothing. We're just wasting time here. We're wasting more time and more water. This washing machine's not going to do nothing today. Oh, it's actually it's actually going to come over now. Since I couldn't get the thing washed one way, we're going to do something else. We're, we got it on bulky item, so when you put the machine on bulky item, it puts water all the way up to here. So we're going to go ahead and put the water all the way up to where it was. And I want you to see, when you buy a washing machine without an agitator, and you wash your clothes on bulky items, let's say you put 10 pair of pants, 10 work shirts in this thing, but this has not got no agitator. I want you to see how little your clothes are going to get agitated when they're washing. Here, let me see the hose, Caitlin. I'm going to put water off. I'm going to soak this blanket down. I want it. I want, matter of fact, I'll even help it. 
I'll push it down and make sure it gets soaked with water. I'm doing something I shouldn't have to do. So we're filling it up with water. You see water now, Caitlin? Stay away from my lid lock. You can see water now, can't you? Yeah. How are we putting the water in? From the water hose. Do you think I should have to put water in a $558 washing machine to get it to come on? No. I had to put, what did I have to do? Did the water machine put any, washing machine put any water in it whatsoever before I put water in it with the washing, with the water hose? You know? That's ridiculous. I shouldn't have to do this for $558. This washing machine is about a year and a half old. Maybe a year and, oh, 12, 12 and 6, 18. This washing machine might be about 18, 19 months old. It ain't worked from the get-go. Now, this is one blanket. We're letting it fill all the way up with water. Keep in mind, ladies, you got sheets to wash, blankets to wash. We're going to push this blanket down in the water some more. We're going to help this video. We're, we shouldn't be doing this. But we're, we're trying to help you people see what you're going to get for your money. Without an agitator, there's very little agitation going on, as you're going to see in this video. You think that's enough water, Caitlin? Yeah. All right, let's go turn the water on. Oh. Now, do you think that blanket on top is ever going to see any agitation down there? No. I don't think so. Nope. So how's, how's that part of the blanket going to get washed? Uh, probably not. Well, I'd say probably nothing. This is the agitator. This is on bulky item. This is the most water that this washing machine will put in the washing machine for the fullest load you can put in it. The problem is, there's no agitator. When you put that much water in, your clothes do not get agitated. If your clothes do not get agitated, they do not get clean. Now it's stopping. Lord knows what it's going to, about to do now. So, what did it stop for? Did it do anything? Nope. I th it sure stops and comes on a lot. It makes you think it's doing something. Now, keep in mind, folks, these little flowers. These little flowers is probably the same little flowers you're going to see when this cycle's over. Do you think that blanket's getting clean, Caitlin? Nope. Well, some of it underwater's getting well, clean. Yeah, but mostly the top of it is that's your agit that's all the agitation you're gonna get on one blanket. This machine is a fraud on the American consumer. It's a ripoff on the American consumer. This is a piece of junk. I hope this thing ain't made in America. I hope this thing was made someplace else on this planet. I'm not going to mention no specific company, countries, but I'm hoping this machine wasn't built in this country. But I have a feeling that it was. Boy, that's... What do you think, Caitlin? You think you think that top of that blanket's ever gonna see water? Probably not. Hey, what? Let's pick the little frog. Little frog right there. <laughs> Caitlin. Yeah? We don't have to worry about the frogs disappearing. Er, I think that that's pretty damn good. Lily bad, ain't it? Yeah. Huh. You reckon there's any chance we might drown in this lily pad? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. Whew. Well, I think we finally found something a Whirlpool washing machine was good for. Hey, Fred. Yeah? How about a little kiss? Okay. Okay. Kissing on the lily pad. Kissing on the lily pad. We don't have to worry about getting wet. Because this is a waterless whirlpool washing machine. You don't have to.
to worry about your clothes getting wet. Look it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cut that out, Fred. You're getting frisky. Fred! 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 Oh, you won't. I'm enjoying the massage. I think we finally found out something that this Whirlpool washing machine was good for. Frogs. Frogs. Now, if this washing machine was really washing clothes, Caitlin, by now you would think them frogs would end ended up disappearing in the water someplace, wouldn't you think that? Yeah. Well, why is them frogs still on top of that blanket doing nothing? Look, they just now getting some water on them. I don't know. Well, let's see what happens. We're just going to leave them little frogs alone. Help me. Help. Help, I'm finally getting wet. Help me, Fred. Help me. <laughs> you ain't helping nobody. I'm enjoying this massage. You help yourself. Fred, Fred, Fred. My butt's getting wet. It should have been wet 20 minutes ago when the idiot started this video. Just now getting around to getting some water on it. Fred, you better save me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I'll move over here. Yeah, I think I'll move over with you. I'll tell you what, let's lay on our backs. Let's thumb tan. Fred, you little rascal, are you bathing in a nude? You better get back over there before somebody calls the law on you. again. They won't even wash these poor little frogs. What's a whirlpool wash machine good for? Well, folks, there you have it. Your waterless whirlpool wash machine. And folks, do you actually think that blanket's going to get wet? I mean, it's got water on it now. It's done soaked up enough water where, oh, 90% of it's washed. But I don't want a blanket that's 90% washed. I want a blanket that's 100% washed. And this washing machine just doesn't do it. What are you looking at, stupid? <laughs> you got to answer that question. You're the idiot that paid $558 for the washing machine. How'd you like it if I you off your lily pad. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, mister. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doesn't take much to make a frog change his mind, does it, boy? Go ahead and mess with the fat boy and see what happens next time. Now look at that. But the same flowers are still on top. Well, that's not much agitating. I tell you what, this machine would be good for. Be good for washing handkerchiefs. Let's put this little frog over there. Oh, that sure is a lot of agitation, ain't it, Caitlin? Yep. It's sad. What a sad product. But at least 
It is washing. Remember, this is the third attempt to wash this blanket. What time? What time did it start? Well, we've been, we've been, tr I've been trying to wash this blanket now. At least, I think at least 40 minutes now I've got invested just to get to this point. I had to stop the washer machine twice trying to get it to reset. I reset it the third time. It kept going around and around and around. And then finally I decided to put my own water in it with my own water hose. And when I did that, we got to this point. It's been washing clothes now going around and around. Uh, after all the time and the trouble, the three read tip, 40 minutes just for a wash cycle, this is where we're at now. One blanket in the drum. What a, what a fraud. Whirlpool, if this is the best you can do, why don't you just pack your bags and go some other country? Quit selling Americans this young. It will come on a couple more times and shut off a couple more times and it will go in the spin cycle. And when it goes in the spin cycle, I'm cutting it off. This video is probably going to be too long. <coughs> too long to put on YouTube, but I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. I don't even know if people will... Remember, folks, when you're watching YouTube, you can over-speed up your video hit your arrow on your bar line, moving it whichever direction you want to go, forward or backwards. This machine will go in the wash cycle here in a minute, and after three attempts of all the wasted water and electricity and time, we finally got to the point where it would go in the spin cycle. That's what you get for $558. You get a pitiful Whirlpool washing machine. Pitiful.
almost that little frog's finally getting wet again. <laughs> yeah. Last time he seen water was about five minutes ago. Let's see what happens to him. <laughs> going to see, is that the he or the she? That's the she. That little frog is seeing more water than he has at any other time. I think that's the boy. Oh, that's I'm still the girl. The other one must be the boy. Well, the boy's getting kind of wet anyway. Things gonna kick into the rinse cycle. Well, I spoke about one word. He'll do that for just a second. It's fixing to kick in the spin cycle. We'll have to take the little froggies out. Yep. Now you might have noticed the washing machine sped up. It's agitating. This is your super agitating that this washing machine offers you right before it goes in the spin cycle. There it goes. She'll drain now. This is the third attempt, finally. We've got, after the third attempt, we got through a full wash cycle. Only after I had to add the water myself manually to make the machine come on. With the water hose that I had to buy specifically to add water to this $558 wash dollar washing machine. You either do it with the water hose or do it with a, a five gallon bucket, your choice. You buy a Whirlpool washing machine, you're going to need one or the other. Guarantee it. They don't look so happy now, do they? Oh, there it goes. I'm going to take them out because it's draining the water out. It's fixing to go in the spin. Brian, my friend Brian. Go put it back over on the table. Anybody that stuck with me this long, I may as well leave the video running so you can actually see the machine go into spin cycle. And that won't, all it's doing now is draining the water out that I put in, not that the machine put in, but I put all this water in. 
had to do it with the water hose. It was either that or the bucket, like I said ten times before. It's draining the water out. As soon as it goes in the spin cycle, this experiment is over. Yep. Washing machine. Oh boy. What a sad, sad doggy this little machine is. Kaylin, have you had fun standing here watching a stupid washing machine? Not really. Yeah, well, you grow up, you buy one of these washing machines, you'll get used to it. What do you have to do as soon as you buy a Whirlpool washing machine and you get it home? What do you have to do? What do you have to do? Take the lid off. Not the lid off. You have to I take the lid lock off the lid. Yeah. And where do you put the lid lock? You put the lid lock in, in the little hole yeah, in the where little it hole. normally goes. So the machine thinks the lid is locked and the machine will operate. Yep. If you don't do that, you can't see the magic of this machine. Now, I'm going to put my little water hose back over here out of the way. Remember, folks, as soon as this machine starts spinning, I'm out of here. I done wasted way too much time on this one blanket. Yes, yeah, so we can get the blanket clean and not be cold. Where are we going for lunch, Caitlin? Olive Garden. You, uh, do you reckon our food will taste better than this washing machine would taste if it was food? Yeah. Well, you'd have to about after watching this video for the last hour just to get it through the wash cycle. You'd certainly hope Olive Garden's gonna make the rest of our day better, because this little experiment it was a lot of wasted time, a lot of wasted water, a lot of wasted electricity. All right, she's fixing to spin, and this video is fixing to go off. Last day. Well, she made a noise. I hope she spins. There she goes. Well, she's gonna. There she goes. She's gonna put about a glass of water worth of water in there. That she spins. All right, folks. That's all I got to show you. It puts that little bit of water in there, and then it goes in a spin cycle. What's the purpose of that little bit of water? Is your guess as good as mine? One thing for sure, you'll be guessing about a lot of things you buy this Whirlpool washing machine. These Whirlpool washing machines, look up the reviews on your computer. Whirlpool washing machine reviews. See if I'm the only one lying or whether there's a whole lot of people out there that's got a whole lot of bad things to say about their Whirlpool washing machine. Right there on a the computer. You can get there. You can see exactly what I'm seeing. I don't know what it's going to do now. Me neither. Me going to leave it on. Yep, leave it on. What I like to do is see the washing machine actually spin my wash water out. Go into a spin cycle so I can get this thing spun out mm -hmm. and out of this washing machine. Mm -hmm. There it goes. Now just to get to this point for this one blanket, we've got at least 45-50 minutes invested in time to get to this point. Alright folks, video's going off.